Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Today's video is about Lightroom, Classic CC. There's a new feature that's been added, the hue slider in our local adjustments. So we now have the ability to control the hue of a color with a localized adjustment or a mask. So uh, here is, uh, let's start with this photo here. I'll show you the basics of how this thing works. So traditionally, right, you know, old school, we had our HSL panel and let's say I wanted to change the red of this guitar to something else, you know, I'd start pushing the slider around to try to nudge it toward a different color. And I can only go so far, right? I can get to like, you know, kind of a orangey brown or you know, a reddish purple look with, uh, with just the hue slider. And of course I have saturation and luminance to keep playing with that. But now in the local areas, so our graduated filter, radial filter, or brush, any one of them, we have a hue slider. And the way this thing works is let's just drag this graduated filter to cover the whole photo. It's zero out exposure. And I'll come back to explain what fine adjustment is. This works with, well, masks, right? We want to target certain things. So the first thing you want to do is apply some kind of mask in addition to the gradient. In this case, I've thrown the gradient over the entire photo. Uh, to prove the point, we'll start here. I'm only applying the gradient to the lower half. I start adjusting the hue and I will see shifts in the lower half of the photo. So let's you know, push it this way. I see that purple showing up. And fundamentally, double click that to reset. I'm saying, pick the color you want. Like the top bar of this is the, the target color you want. And you want to shift toward that. So if I want purple, I'm going to shift this pointer all the way toward this really funky purple. If I want, you know, a yellow or a green or so forth, I'm going that way. Um, let's stick with this like really funky looking purple, but where the power of this really comes into play, let's drag that all the way up there, is when we do things with our masks. I can do my brushes or I can use things like color range masks. And let's just pick the color of the guitar. And now I've got a mask that is just affecting the colors I'm interested in changing. And now I have the hue and I can go very far with it, right? I mean, I can make this guitar basically any color that I want with this hue slider. Uh, now I mentioned the fine adjustment. Let's, um, let's, let's point this out here. If I go to this, like this deep purple here or something like that, I get close to the color I want, turn on a fine adjustment. And then as I drag this slider, the changes are smaller. Notice when I turn it off, I drag to the right, I get a very quick shift on the hue, right? Very fast changes. Turn this on, I'm going the same distance, but notice the numbers and the slider are not moving very much at all. Uh, let's do one other example, which I think is a little more of a, a, a useful example. This is kind of, here's how the tool works. You want to use it with a mask, but what about a photo like a landscape where you want to target a color improvement, but just to a particular area of the photo. Let's have a look. So in this photo here, let's say I want to increase the greens on just this bit of scrub brush in the foreground. Now, a classic way to enhance greens is to take the hue of yellow and push it a little bit more toward green. If we do that in the HSL panel, here's hue, we take yellow, we push it toward green, but notice that yes, the scrub is becoming more green, but so is everything else because there's a lot of yellow in this scene, right? I turn that off, look at the sand and the dunes, turn it back on. I'll push this really far so you can see it, especially in these brighter areas here, before that change, after, right? Okay, the, the scrub is getting nice and green, but the rest of the photo is really suffering for it. This is where the hue slider comes in very handy in our radial gradient and brush tools. In this case, I'll use a radial tool. And I actually happen to have one on this scrub already, right? You can see here that I've done some clarity work on it and I've leveraged a luminance mask. Uh, but let's, let's reset everything so we can see how that works, right? So let's do a new radial. Everything's nominal. We'll drag this radial, put it over the subject I want to work with. 
I have the invert setting turned on. So if I hover there, you'll notice the inside of the radial filter is where this effects or where these sliders will be adjusting. Luminance mask, right? I will show the luminance mask and I want to just target the darker areas. I don't want the bright parts on the outside of the scrub. Maybe I'll make that a little crisper. Looks like I probably need to drag this out just a little bit more to get all the other areas there. Okay, for this illustration, that will be good enough. So I've got my mask targeted, and now I can play with hue. I can shift things toward green. Again, the way I like to work with this tool is I'll turn off fine adjustment first, and I'll just start pushing it into the range right above here where I'm starting to get green. Now that's really nuclear, right? That's, that's too much. So somewhere around there, then I'll turn on fine adjustment, and well, fine tune. That way is a little bit too much green. That's starting to back it off a little bit. Maybe, maybe around there. Let's check a before and after on that. Before and after. And I'm not having any impact to the rest of the photo, which again has a lot of yellow bouncing around. I don't want to make the desert floor green, so I want to increase the greens here. And um, you know, for for like completeness, HSL. We have well, there's our H. Our S is our saturation, right? We can push that up, we can pull it back, and we can do it targeted. And L, luminance or exposure, we have that as well. So if I needed to brighten up that a little bit, and I think the, originally I had some clarity there to give a little pop to it. Uh, but that's the story about the hue adjustments that we have in Lightroom's graduated filter, radial filter, and brush tools. That is a Lightroom Classic CC thing. So if you're not subscribed to the Adobe CC you know, updates and so forth, you're not going to see this. But uh, it's it's handy, and uh, you know it's wonderful that it has been added. <laughs> it has uh, been a long time coming, and I'm thankful Adobe has added this to the panels. That's how it works. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.